Today is Wednesday, December 29th, and it's currently 9.34 p.m. Eastern Time. This is the weekly chart for Academy Sports and Outdoors, ticker symbol ASO. As of today's close, price uh, ended the day at $41.42. So each candlestick represents a week's worth of trading. And what I did was I did a uh, six-month look back, which uh, identified the swing low of $33.55 during the week of August 9th and the swing high during the six month look back was during the week of November 22nd when price reached an all-time high of $51.08 and subsequent to reaching that high price is pulled back to where it currently is right now so using the August and November dates as my uh, anchor points uh, what I did was I placed a Fibonacci retracement tool, right? So if I pin it against the high, right? So we can see that the golden ratio of 61.8% is at $40.10. And from this look back, from this weekly look back, you can see that the, this price level has supported uh, price very convincingly because we have multiple touch points uh, during, between the month of October and September as well uh, and even when price was coming down price held up very well I mean from a strong push it, it slowed quote slowed the momentum towards the downside uh, but ultimately price quickly rallied right back up for the past two weeks right so and right now now that price is back above the 61.8% uh, and these two green candlesticks here forming, uh, it's from my perspective that price may retest 42.18, the next uh, FIB level or at the 50% uh, retracement. So if I toggle down to the daily time frame, uh, so this is where price is currently at right now. So uh, again, with this strong push, towards uh to get back above the forty dollars and ten cent level uh if it's from my perspective that price may retest 42.18 and if there's a strong push even higher or there's conviction behind this test uh price may retest uh i wouldn't put it you know like 43 dollars at least the point between 44.26 and 42.18 the two uh, local uh, FIB levels at 38.2% and the 50% retracement levels. So with that said, what I did was I went ahead and took a position involving option contracts that expires next Friday, January 7th. So here it says uh, there's nine days remaining for the life of these contracts. Uh, that's not quite accurate because this also includes this coming weekend saturday and sunday so there's actually less trading days but nonetheless i did select the 43 dollars strike price so essentially i'm anticipating that price will be at or above 43 dollars on or before january 7th now i did pick up five contracts each contract was 65 dollars uh, today it closed slightly below that and since entering this position the trade is down $37.50. And if I view trades, uh, the five contracts I, I bought in was at 244 this afternoon. So um, that's the uh, that's the rationale for my entry and the status of this trade uh, so far. So again, uh, just to you know wrap it up very quickly, um, I'm anticipating that 4218 is going to get tested within the next week. And because I'm also anticipating a strong momentum behind it, that we may touch or slightly go above 43 or maybe even hit 44.26 at the 38.2% uh, level here. So uh, yeah, so as the trade develops, I'll uh, do another update. And until then, I'll pause it for now and I'll pick it up uh, in a few days. So I'll be back.
Today is Monday, January 3rd, and it's 9.35 in the morning. The market's been open for about five minutes. I thought I'd do a quick uh, status check on ASO. So right here, this is today's candlestick. This is a daily time frame, and you can see that since the market opened, price is up 76 cents, and price is currently trading at $44.66, which is great because of my long position. So if I click on the trade tab, uh, right down here, the uh, options are now up another $260 as of this morning, and overall, the trade is up $744. The uh, premium on the contracts, it's currently priced at $214 per contract. I bought in at $65 per contract, and the contracts are now currently ITM designated as in the money so itm is in the money so these are profitable trades uh, all five contracts expire in four days this friday january 7th so i'm gonna monitor this uh chart very carefully because uh there was uh signs of weakness in the s p 500 during the weekend so if there's any hint or indication that the spy is going to start ticking towards the downside then i might close this trade before this friday and you know preserve as much capital as i can uh, because there's only four days remaining uh, the premium is going to move very quickly so it's going to get very volatile and if we can take a look here the implied volatility for this week is plus or minus two dollars and 64 cents so it, it can move that much uh very quickly so i'm going to uh, assess this as the uh, week develops but i'll keep a close eye on this but in any case this is the status of the trade 744 as of this morning so uh i'll give it another day or two and then i'll i'll do another update So it's been a few minutes. It's 10, 10 in the morning and ASO is now trading at $44 and 86 cents. Uh, a little while ago it was at 45. So in any case, uh, I am out of the trade. Uh, if I click on trade tab, I don't have a position anymore. I have a zero uh, quantity, um, but I did sell at 215 so if i sh click on monitor uh all five contracts i closed out at two dollars and 15 cents so my initial entry again was 65 dollars per contract this was back on december 29th and all five contracts were liquidated this morning at two dollars and 15 cents or 215 dollars so overall this was a profit of almost $745 so in the span of two or three days so it's a good trade uh the reason I decided to get out of it is because the S&P 500 is showing a lot of volatility this morning and that considering um that there's only you know a few days remaining in this contract I didn't want to uh, risk too much any further so I thought I'd just close it out today while the momentum was still ticking towards the upside for ASO. So until the next trade set up, I will uh, be back and I'll see you. So just one last look. Uh, today is Thursday, January 6th, and it's 1.30 in the afternoon. And looking at the one hour time frame of ASO, um, price has significantly pulled back. It's below um, 42.50 so it's currently trading at 42.41 so here this is the uh, january 3rd 10 o'clock candlestick that when i closed the trade out so there wasn't really that much more for price to go before i closed it out and fortunately i did because subsequent to closing this out the following hour starting at 11 o'clock price started pulling back so um i don't do this frequently or often you know going back to the chart of a recently closed trade but 
I thought I, you know, because I was gearing up to start uh, posting uh, end of the week reviews of trades, uh, I looked at ASO and I saw, you know, I got out at a good time. So, yeah, you just know when to cut your losses or, you know, protect your principal on your trades. Uh, don't get too greedy. And, uh, yeah, so I'll see you next time.